All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awakened Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. If you're new to me, new to my channel, if you're watching live on YouTube or on the replay, um, please do subscribe. Please join us for our regular shows and as well as our regular live shows, as well as our past shows. You can go back and watch all of them on demand. They are all there. Uh, it is my deepest wish, desire, and intention to bring forward with to you, for you, these wonderful speakers who are here to share their wisdom, their teachings, their energies, their frequencies, their activations and clearings, so that we can all thrive in this uh, time of change and uh, fluctuation. There's so much change happening. So please do join us. And um, today, my good friend Vinolan Ponin is here with us for the first time. And um, so this is, you know, inaugural appearance. And we're going to be talking about the influences of energy in your life. And so some of what we're going to discuss is how energy has influenced his life, uh, different types of energy, the influences of entities, working with source energy, frequencies, and the dragon armor. And Vinolan is also going to be working with his dragon team to offer us a radiation and EMF clearing process. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. We will be taking live caller questions as well. But of course, if you are live here with us on Zoom, you can raise your hand or you can type your question in the chat. And for those of you who do not know Vinolan, and you know, you may not, so because it's his first time here, he is a multidimensional facilitator and holder of space. And in the early 2000s, he was initiated into, into the Yusui Tibetan method of Reiki. With his growing interest in spirituality, he expanded his tool set to include EFT, grace healing, infinity healing, light language, and holographic principles. He currently works with his team of divine workers that includes his soul aspects, dragons and crows, to name a few, to clear detrimental energies as well as bring in appropriate light language or light body upgrades. Vin is also the custodian of the dragon armor, a spiritual technology that forms a layer of dragon skin around a person when activated. And the armor was channeled through from his oversoul. It has the ability to generate frequency fields around the wielder or any other person as directed. And frequencies include the healing solfeggio frequencies as well as other frequencies to embody different states of consciousness. Vin's passion is to clear traumas, to allow more love to shine through from within, and he is a regular on TikTok, so you can always find him there as well, where he does many free he mini healings to assist you. Um, so, Vinolan, <laughs> welcome to the show. So glad you're here. For those of you who are here with us, please do uh, join us in warmly welcoming Vinolan to the show. Thank you, Laura, and thank you to your listeners. Hello, everyone. Great to be here. So, um, you know, because it's your first time, right? And, um, you know, like I always do when it's a first time guest, do you just want to share a little bit about your journey? I know we talked about it in the bio a little bit, but just a little bit about your journey, how you became to be a healer, working with dragons specifically, because I know a lot of people are really interested in knowing more about the dragons and your journey. Um, yeah, so as we mentioned in the bio, my journey started more or less with with the Sui Tibetan Reiki. So that was in my early 20s. And the reason I started doing Reiki is because I wanted to do something useful around people. I wanted something good to come off me with my presence. Um, back in the day, I was in a very dark space. I was quite negative. And I could walk into a room and people used to get headaches. Mm -hmm. So I decided enough was enough. I need to do something about it. So I started doing Reiki, started doing the meditations. And then I started improving my energies. I can literally say that Reiki saved my life. So the dragons came along in around 2019, 2020, just before the entire incident hit. Went to a couple of um, psychics, if you can call them that, and they said, you've got a whole lot of dragons around you. So I started delving more and more into this to see what it meant. And believe it or not, Merlin came up and I had to reconnect with my time as Merlin's apprentice over four lifetimes. So I called back all of that energy and I started working more and more with the dragons. They started showing up more and more in the form of different frequencies, different languages, and different presences. And that's what I've been using ever since. Awesome. Thank you. And I know in the past couple of months, too, have been really uh, brought, uh, brought a great deal of transformation for you as as with everybody else, right? So much change is happening. So much transformation is happening. 
So I know that you've been working a lot with your, your team, not just the Dragons, but your entire team for yourself and also for you know, your community and, uh, and the planet, right, collectively. So today, you know, we're talking about energies, right? We're talking about specifically, um, <clears throat> what are we talking about? Hold on. We are talking about specifically the influences of energy in your life. And so when you're talking about energy and the influences it has on you, what type of energies are you specifically talking about? And how have these energies influenced you? Right. So the type of energies that I'm referring to is any type of energy, but it's about the classification of it. So the energy that a person can experience can be neutral, it can be uplifting, or it can be disruptive, all right? So where these energies come from is from different sources. These can be from people that you know, um, that have perceptions about you. They can linger on in places where there's any activity taking place, for example, a place of worship or a scene of an accident. Um, there are elemental energies, solar, lunar, earth energies, planetary energies, microwave energies, collective energies from the collective itself. But I think the most important energy that you need to be concerned about is the source fractal energy, which is essentially the true essence of who you are, the closest to source as you'll ever be, as you'll ever be. It is essentially you. So with all of these influences of energy, what you really need to do is you need to do your daily anchoring and your grounding. And you need to clear out those energies which isn't really yours or it's not benefiting you in any way. So when this happens, what you do is you calm down your brain and your nervous system long enough that it can relax and then connect to the very essence of who you are, which is your source factor. And that's what I mean by the influences of energy in your life. I think people are quite inundated with all the different things that's going around, with all the different perceptions, with the news, with the media. And this generates a whole lot of different frequencies coming through from the collective, not just the humanity collective, but the collective of the area that you're in, of the people around you. Those also generates different types of fields. So if you don't take the time to actually clear out that isn't yours and that which doesn't serve your highest good you're always going to get taken away with whichever way the wave is flowing and you don't want to be that you want to be the captain of your own ship you want to be standing in your sovereignty you want to be who you are because there's no one else in the world that could be better at that than you absolutely and so this is about maintenance right maintaining your energy field being aware of your energy and taking care of it right so we have to take care of our energy field our emotional field, mental field, all of that on a regular basis, not just once in a blue moon. But on, I mean, if we're on these types of shows, we really need to be clearing, maintaining our field every day, right? Every single day, yeah. Every yeah. single day. And when you start doing that, you will just see the amazing benefits that you're going to get from it, not just in your mental state, but in your emotional state, but in terms of how your ability starts to open up, in terms of how you're able to manifest things at a much more quicker rate. In terms of how much you are able to hold a much more of a better presence to assist not just yourself, but the people around you, because that's what it's about. Absolutely. It is about us holding space, right, for our communities, our families, the planet, the collective. But it's also it's about holding the right frequency, the right energies, right? And because that is what is always radiating out. Whether we know it or not, that's what's radiating out. 100%. And so when you realized that your energy that was radiating it was negative, that's when you decided to, to make a change. Yeah, that's exactly when. I still remember the day um, because I was still at campus at that point in time. So yeah, probably early 20s, 20, 21 years old. And I walked in the room and the moment I walked in, my friend just held her head and she looked up and then she saw it was me that came through the door. And then I decided, nope, I have to do something about it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I used to get the headaches when I used to go to my parents' house, you know, and so it's like, I'd be totally fine. And then I go to their house and within five minutes, I've got this headache and it's like, and they are very negative, to be honest. So I was like, oh, <laughs> so I had to start working uh, on, on my energies at that time. Right. So it's, it's about recognizing and being aware and noticing. That's the first step, right, is recognizing and being aware and noticing how your energy changes from place to place or time to time yeah so the awareness comes through is with practice so that's why the daily anchoring and the daily grounding is going to assist you there because once you start clearing initially then you will start to feel yourself you will start to feel like oh my gosh have i really been carrying all of that other stuff that wasn't in my mind to begin with and people get comfortable with being uncomfortable 
that's the sad truth about it. It just becomes a norm. But when you start doing the work, when you start releasing your shadows, when you start bringing in more love, that is when you can realize, okay, this is who I am. This is what I am. And this is what I choose to be going forward. Yeah, people are more used to being in the uh, the energy that they're normally in, which might, which may not be healthy for them. Um, that's easier for them to to understand or be in than the unknown, right? The unknown is like, I have no idea. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to change anything because this, this I know. I'm comfortable with this. I know how to work with this, right? But they sometimes we don't realize the um, the benefit of making a change, having that transformation, and and going forward into the unknown, which can be a gift and a blessing. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. Yeah, don't mind me. I my my throat is clearing, so there's a lot of stuff happening on the call already. Um, <laughs> that's why my voice is sounding so weird. It's like, oh my goodness, I don't have a cold. What's going on? But I sound like I have a cold. So it's just you know, energy's clearing right for everybody for the collective. That's is, is what happens on these calls. Is that automatically the guides, the team starts working with everybody. So you know, to help raise the frequency and vibration right and so as the as the frequency raises the vibration raises you the clearing happens automatically well clearing can happen automatically once we start to raise the frequency and so when we're talking about frequencies and energies again it's important to recognize am i vibrating at a low frequency a low energy or a high frequency high energy and how can i amp up you know that vibration frequency yeah, so on the topic of frequencies, my understanding of frequency is that it is not only can be specific types of energies, but it's specific frequencies. Um, you can equate them to certain states of consciousness as well. Um, I think frequencies are also dimensions, and the more aligned we are with certain frequencies, then we can have greater access to certain other dimensions where we can bring in different types of healing energies if we choose. And um, that certainly is how the dragon armor came about because what I found out that it could do once we channeled it through was it could generate very specific types of frequency. So how did I know that it could do this is because I used to research certain frequencies, I used to try it out in certain people, and I used to ask them, okay, fine, what are you experiencing? I used to run the frequencies on myself, and the information sort of tied up, and that's how I figured out that this is some really nice tech. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And we're going to um, we're going to talk a little bit more about the dragon armor in a little bit. But before we do that, I just want to also talk a little bit about entities, right? So when you were experiencing your energy as being negative and low vibration, low frequency, we'll say, was that because of entities, due to entities, or was it just something else? Well, it, it was a combination of entities and curses. All right, okay. so. I would say it started off with the curses, but remember what happens is when your mindset changes, um, you start opening up other portals and other dimensions because that's what people can do, you know? And then all these other entities, they come through and they start to feed off you. So you'll find people just ending up in the same sort of scenarios, um, just bad luck following them wherever they go. Um, that bad luck can even influence other people. I mean, I was like that, not like that anymore, thank God. But <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's an interesting thing uh, to say, well, entities can bring these sort of influences. But at the same time, you want to give credit where credit is due. Sometimes you're just doing the wrong thing yeah. in life. So you're not going to blame an entity for that. However, they do have a big impact. Um, so entities in my world, is, it can be perceived as, as either good or bad, negative or positive. It doesn't really matter because some of the so-called good and bad entities, um, all they're doing is feeding off your energy. Um, so even even you, the good entities are feeding off your energy. The perceived good ones, uh -huh. because <laughs> they they play dramas. They try to drag you in into crazy missions where you fight off all the dark and you do this and you do that. And a lot of times, people notice that hey, I'm going to sleep. I'm doing all of these so-called good things, but I'm ending up feeling more drained than anything else. And why is that? It shouldn't be. So we end up with agreements with these beings and the way to clear them out is to just revoke these contracts, revoke these agreements and you call back your energy. So what I do with my clients and with myself on a regular basis because of um, the amount of entities and beings that show up, 
you need to use your discernment. But what does it mean? How do you use your discernment? Because it can be very tricky. So what I do is I connect my entire team to source and my source fractal. I clear them. I say, okay, fine. Whichever team needs to be healed, whichever entity needs to be healed, let them be healed. And whatever needs to be removed, remove them. And when I started doing that, the space around me became a lot more empty. Let's put it that way. Because yeah, more clear. And it's just you. Much more clear. And when I started doing this process for my clients and my friends, it's pretty much the same feedback. A lot of entities, to be honest, some of them don't even know that they are entities. They're mm -hmm. just hanging around because they're stuck in groups and they're stuck in patterns. But they become part of your team and your guides. Maybe they're guiding you in the wrong direction, but they're still a guide. So you want to clear them out. You want to send them on their way peacefully and lovingly if you can. And once again, you want to reconnect to your own frequency. Best frequencies to connect with a source and your own source factor. So let's talk about working with source and source fractal. So uh, to be honest, you're the only one that I know of that has has used that term source fractal that I'm aware of that's been on these shows and so on and so forth, right? So what does that, what does that mean and what does it mean to work with source energy well, in your opinion for you? To me, source is that one true spark of creation. Okay, I think we all more or less have the same understanding of that. But it is the one that became the many. So at the very first split where it became you, that was what I term source fractal. It is the first piece of individualization from source that in constitute to who you are. And that can be in this incarnation. It can be in many of the other different parallel or different types of incarnations is out there. But it is you essentially. So by connecting with that, um, you will feel more whole. You will feel more at home. You will feel more of your gifts coming through and you will feel more sovereign. And that's a very important thing. You want to feel sovereign because you want to stand exactly where you are and declare that you're a free being, free of any manipulation, free of any control, and you have full power over your own life. So that's what I mean by the source fact. Source, um, yeah, well, there's not much I can say about source except well, source is source. And when you connect to it, you know it because there's no judgment. There's just pure bliss, pure power. And it is clearing on unbelievable different levels. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's the thing. It's like when we're working with source energy, it's pure and it's powerful. Um, and, and it's not like you don't need an intermediary, you know, to work with source energy. Um, all right. So let's talk a little bit about we, we talked briefly about frequencies and the dragon armor, but you work with the dragon armor quite a bit and you work with frequencies quite a bit as well in your, um, in your sessions, in your recordings, et cetera. Yeah, I, I do work with frequencies a lot because what frequencies do is they set a space. And when a space is set, what happens is whatever that's in the space starts to get entrained to that specific frequency. So right at the outset, what I normally do is I connect to source and run a source energy frequency field, and that just permeates everything. I also run different types of frequencies depending on what shows up. I may run sulfedrio frequencies. Um, there's another frequency that I use, which is the 144 kilohertz frequency, which is what I call um, the God frequency, if you want. Um, elemental frequencies, it just depends on what needs to happen at that specific time. But the big thing with frequencies and why I actually focus on it a lot is because frequencies are just everywhere. If you look at what's going on with our current technology, we have um, Wi-Fi, we have microwave radiation, we have different types of radio frequencies, um, 5G and all of that kind of stuff. So our bodies, which are essentially tuning mechanisms, uh, we pick this up, but we don't realize the stress that it has on us because what our brain likes to do is delete information which may or may not be necessary according to it. So if something um, that you're experiencing is making you uncomfortable, but you get used to it over some time and then you don't even realize it's there. A good example would be for information that the brain deletes. There's think about at every single time that your eyes are open, um, you can actually see your nose. It's right there in front of you. If you pay attention to it now, you can actually see your nose. So whichever which way that you look at, you can still see your nose, but people don't notice it because your brain deletes it. That is true. <laughs> and so the, the, 
when it comes to um, working with frequencies, source, energies, et cetera, you're right. We, we do get used to a lot of things, right? And the brain is going to delete things that are irrelevant based on your normal everyday working um, motivation, I suppose you could say. And so for us, if we want to be, you know, thriving in our lives, right? And we're wanting to be creating our lives with, uh, with joy and ease, it's going to be important to, for us to have those intentions and work with that intention on a regular basis to see that, right? So then the brain sees that every like new, it, it's, it, it becomes like brand new every day instead of like the nose that's always there, it's not doing anything. But the intention is always new and not changing per se, but uh, being upgraded on a regular basis, right? Oh, as, oh, we, yeah. as we go about life. Definitely upgraded and definitely forming the, the new habit of doing things. The reason things get deleted in the first place is because of a habit. We get so used to noticing other things and what's right in front of us as close as our nose. So that develops into a new habit. But when we start developing different habits, one that serves us, for example, your daily anchoring, your daily clearing, your daily affirmation, your daily intent, that then becomes a new way of life for you. That then becomes your new software upgrade in a sense. And you will start to see the results around you. It's about what it's about what we're focusing on, right? And um, making that clear for us, like what do we want to focus on? What is our priority? Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like sometimes you know, it's like something as basic as that, right? Like what, like what's important to you? What do you want to focus on today? What is your priority today? Something as simple as that. Doing that first before you start your day really is going to help. Otherwise, you just get carried along with so many things to do. And then it's like, oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. What was I planning to do today? You know, yeah. it's like each day is, a, is like a new beginning and it's a, it's a new gift and blessing. But we if we don't have that daily early morning ritual or practice, we really are missing out on it, aren't we? Yeah, I, I really would think so. And um, I speak about this from firsthand experiences. The thing that we tend to do is neglect the basics. And the very basics that we can do is your anchoring grounding. And it's something that I suppose a lot of healers that um, have come through over the years have neglected. Uh, and I say that because I was one of them. So when I started doing my regular anchoring grounding, and I've been doing that for about, once again, just before and around the dragon started showing up. And that's when more of the guys started coming through. That's when um, I was releasing more traumas. That's when I was just embracing more of myself and my own gifts. So that um, change just happens. And the only reason that I can attribute that to is not because the dragon showed up, not because all of these other beings showed up, because they've always been there. But what is different was that I was then taking the time out every day to reconnect to source, to ground here to earth, to be exactly where I was, so that I can then be a good and decent enough facilitator for these wonderful energies to come through. Yeah, absolutely. And so it, it is, um, it's vital, right? If you are a healer, if you're a facilitator, if you're a coach, if, you know, it's vital to do your daily spiritual practice. I mean, daily, it's, it's not like, oh, I feel like it. It's, just like, it's a necessity. Um, so I know we're going to be taking some live caller questions and some questions from the chat. So um, what kinds of questions do you want to take today? <laughs> well, that's a, <laughs> well, it's that always is an a good question. Question in itself. But look, yeah, let, let's see what's on people's mind. And if I can answer it, I'll answer it. And if I can't, yeah. I'll tell you that I can't. So people are going to are going to want probably like clearing, right? Or like mm -hmm. like um, information about what's in my field, or I don't know. We'll have to see. But um, but I think people will, are going to want uh, help with uh, what's going on, right? So yeah, I think it'll be better if they do have a certain concern. I will connect to them, and we'll just allow source to come through and do the clearings. It wouldn't be too much of a reading because that will obviously take a lot more time, but. Um, they can put into the comments exactly what it is they're feeling. And should any other information come through that I'm picking up, I will convey that to them as well. Awesome. Does that sound all right? Sounds good to me. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, all right. So I know Nadi, Nadi has a question. She's got her hand raised. Nadi, you want to unmute yourself? 
Hi, can you hear Lara? Thank you very much for the opportunity. And yeah, hello, we can Lara. hear you. How are you? Hi, Indy. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm really happy. I just listened to your free gift and I felt disconnected. I don't know what something is resonate. I just want to know what is the is stopping my 13 year old son to talking to me what the contract or what the entity or curses between us because currently I'm not in my home. I'm looking for the place to live. But what what I need to clear and but what's the actual question is why is your son not talking to you? Yes, Alana. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm not that type of psychic, but what I can see <laughs> is that, look, there definitely is some type of um, dense energy between you and your son, all right? So yes. um, there is a lot of anger and there's a lot of, um, look, it's it's more a case of the perception that you don't really understand him, you understand? Okay. So I he just feels that had a lot of interference from neighborhood that's why in the first place i left the house and then still is working through that and yes. yeah well look part of the other problem is that you said he's 13. And yes it's not the when, reason when, because when people not are 13 there. years old and they think they know better than everyone you know so it's a combination mm -hmm. of that but yeah there definitely is a lot of dense energy between you and him that I can pick up, and I think that needs to be cleared. One of the best ways that you would be cleared that I'm picking up for you is you need to get a lot more sunlight in you. You need to actually connect mm -hmm. a lot more and bring that energy into you and to just sort of disperse that around your energy field as well, because I do feel that the sunlight can actually assist you to clear that. Um, the other reason that you need to do that is because there's a lot of energy is also seeping to your bone as well. That's um, this dark dense energies and once again connecting to the sun you can really open that up open up your your cells and just allow that to be lifted and cleared for you as well okay anything we can do for now or it's it's still... yeah sure um you can, can just take you a deep breath in me? take a deep breath in and just close your eyes for a bit and we're going to connect you to source above and guy below now and we'll activate the source energy frequency field for you now. Mm. Okay, you're gonna feel that buzzing coming. We're just asking to clear any distortions in your energy field. And also within your heart space is working on there now, so it's gonna lift and clear. Lifting and clearing from the lungs. All right, deep breath in, exhale, and notice what you notice that's different. And Dee, how are you doing? You still there? Mm, I'm just breathing in. Yes, I felt it a little. Okay. Mm. So stay on the call and continue to receive from the other questions and plus the process that we're going to do later. Thank you, Alara. Thank you, Van. Thank you, Nadine. Continue the grounding. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. And so, um, so Vanilla, in the the short little clearings or processes that you're doing, we all can benefit from them as well, right? So when you're doing like the connecting and whatever, where I lost you, there's so many hands raised. <laughs> um, yeah, let me rather do that if that's okay with everyone. So um, whoever comes up with whatever it is, and we'll just connect close to everyone for that same thing so that everyone can receive the benefit of it. Yeah, awesome, good, thank you. Cool, thanks for that, Laura. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to, uh, oops, there was a question in the chat. I wanna, cause I wanna get some from the chat as well. Um, so Rebecca is asking in the chat, I'm interested in learning to work with dragons. What would be the easiest ways to begin this? And that's a great question for everybody. 
The easiest way to work with Dragon or any other being is you need to start working on yourself first. And the way you do that is daily anchoring and daily grounding. So what that means is in the morning when you wake up, part of your normal ritual will be to connect up the source up above. You're bringing that energy all the way to the top of your head, let it fill up your entire body, asking it to lift and clear all which doesn't serve your highest good, asking it for the appropriate upgrades, and then send it all the way back down to earth and reconnect with the earth, bring that energy back up and do the same process. Then you call in the members of your team and should there be dragons, then yes, work with them. Should there be other aspects that is connected to true source, then yes, work with them. It doesn't always mean that, hey, cool, dragons are cool, let's work with them. There could be other things that you need to, that you need to be working with, but you're gonna do that a disservice if you only wanna focus in one direction. Rather you, once again, do the anchoring, do the grounding, and then see what shows up. And they will show up. Awesome, thank you. Great question. Um, we're gonna to go to Kim. Kim, you wanna unmute yourself? Maybe, maybe not. One, two, three, Kim. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Hi, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> okay. Um, so can you read without words? <laughs> I mean, without me saying much. <laughs> oh, no, that's not fair to all of us. So you know, have, <laughs> have, have, have a specific question. Yes, my specific, a specific question is, Hmm, how detailed. Um, I've had Shaktipat and the Satguru suggest certain practices. I have not been doing them. Also in Vedic and Western astrology, whether it's transits or uh, Mahadashas, uh, quite frankly, I am uh, having some difficulties, definitely. And I have had some, uh, shah, what do you call them? Um, hackers and uh, stalker and someone trying to take me to court. And it's extremely, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? Um, and the hacker and the stalker lives right below me. So these are very stressful uh, situations. So I feel I am, am allowing myself to be vulnerable and I'd rather not. Mm -hmm. I'd like to protect myself more. Thank okay, you. Protection, protection is good, but what also would be good is um, to clear away any agreements and contracts associated with being a victim as well. Yes, so, yes. Um, take a deep breath in for everyone as well who would like this. Just take a deep breath in, close your eyes, relax. And connecting you to source above, Kaya below. Activating the source energy frequency field now. And we're just going to bring forth any and all agreements associated with being a victim, with being hunted, with being stalked with being made to feel as if it's your fault. So any and all contracts and agreements, with any and all beings that does not have your eyes good and hard. Bringing that in, revoking the contracts now. And I'm gonna bring in a bit of uh, my light language, if I can call it that. Okay, lifting and clearing all of that, bringing back your power, wash and cleanse through source all the way back. And asking the source, feel to now scan your bodies for any of these patterns that you may be holding on to. And lifting and clearing this. Clearing the solar plexus. Clearing the sacral area and belly. And clearing any old programming in the spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Just to be clear. Let it clear. <laughs> and 
and notice what you notice is different. <laughs> well, I got the laughter back. <laughs> Deeper well, voice. That's good. I mean, my whole body is like vibrating, which is a positive thing. I can really feel that very, it's, it's very authentic. Awesome. I really, really appreciate this. Thank you so much. No, oh, well, good to know. Thank you very much. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Kim. That was helpful for a lot of us. So not just you. So thank you. Awesome. Good. See, it helps if you say what it is. It helps all of us. <laughs> we can all relate. Um, okay. So we're going to go to, hold on one second. Oh, who's that? Somebody, one second, folks. One second, let me just check my stuff here. Uh, yeah, if you don't know how to raise your hand, let me know and um, we will help you out or like, you know, just whatever call on you because we know how. <laughs> um, Pippa says, I think I cursed myself as I'm unable to connect with my guides, angels, and my gifts. Any help would be. Amazing, thank you. Yeah, sure, we can do that. <laughs> so, cursing yourself happens on many other different levels. So it's not just, oh, I hate myself or whatever. Um, always putting yourself down, even if it's by a joke. Um, if you think it's funny, that can be a form of a curse, all right? So what that means is that you need to start being aware of your self-talk because your self-talk is just that. Your self-talk is not even you. Okay? You are the observer, you are that which witness, witnesses um, the self-talk. Um, your choice is whether or not to believe what it is that voice is saying, or whether or not to silence it. So for self-curses, let's do this one because we all do it every now and then. Let's just take a deep breath in and exhale, activating the source energy frequency field for this. We're just going to lift and clear any other self course, self curses, any other negative perceptions of self. And any other patterns related to low self esteem. So lifting clear, Sarato to Rulina Shutur, Salakrot, Shanar, Uturwari, Lakaranta, Torot, Sormor, which start Alakrot, Sorwari. So this clearing away for your own source factor to come through within your heart space. And connecting you to your source fractal now. Sanakuru to sur or yella karashata unsurua yana. Salakuru sur or yella karato usur waria. And allowing that whole, your own healing energy and your own love to now shine through from within your heart space. Salakuru usur water and anakuru utur wari yella karate ishita unwash. Allow to clear away any distortions, any information and misinformation and disinformation that may be affecting you. Lifting clear. Integrate, deep breath in, and exhale, and let us know how that goes for you. Thank you, and so it is. Awesome. Pippa, let us know how that was for you, how you're doing. Let us know in the chat. That'd be great. Um, there was a question from uh, Patricia. Wanted to put some questions in the chat, but... Uh, she doesn't know how to raise her hand. So Patricia, you want to um, unmute yourself? Hopefully you can unmute. Thank you for responding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What's your question for Vinolan? Um, I, I, hi. I'm so glad to find you this morning. My morning was different. I knew that something would happen. And then about 10 minutes off, I saw Alara's email. And so here we are. <laughs> I have, I experienced psychic attack so that the entity is right standing beside me last week. Uh, also COVID hypnosis. And I, I've been on a spiritual journey for over 60 years and I still can't do anything about it. I haven't been able to do anything about it. 
All right. So just to be clear, what is it that you would like? I would like to be able to one sentence here. One connect with source at at will whenever I want to without feeling all these other things separate me. Okay, so uh, part of what we're going to be doing later is we're going to be doing that group uh, process where we'll be clearing um, the radiation and the EMF. And during the process, I'm also going to create something that's called a dragon egg, which is going to be um, sort of dragon scales that form around your aura just to reflect all of the other detrimental energy. And the reason for doing that is because I would like for people to get to feel themselves so that when you have that energy of source coming through, that feeling is then unmistakable, all right? But at the same time, we're going to ask source to connect you and everyone else as well who's experiencing something similar here. So take a deep breath in and exhale. And now we're going to activate the source energy frequency field. And we're going to activate the 144 kilohertz frequency field. And that frequency is going to start off low and then move up very, very high, very, very quickly. And we're going to ask these frequencies to clear any distortions. And our source to clear any contracts and agreements related to any of the beings that are causing you to experience what has been experienced. And to clear any backup records, any counterparty records. And raising the energy level and life force in everyone's bodies. Take deep breath in and exhale. And let us know how that shifts for you. Hey, Patricia, how are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, thank you. Um, there was a change of energy in my upper body. Mm -hmm. And um, almost a feeling of relief. <laughs> you know, it's been so long and so awful. And I haven't, I, you are the person that knows this stuff and can mm -hmm. deal with it. And I want to be able to deal with it in the same way. Well, if you want to, it's not an easy road, let me tell you that, because there's so much of deception and things that can happen through you on this journey. And I'd like to speak about it a little, Laura, if that's okay with you. Yeah. So, um, and so, Patricia, I, stay just one second, Vanilla. So, Patricia, stay what? tuned for the process as well, okay? That'll help. Yeah. I'm sorry, okay? what? I said stay stay with us for the process okay. that we're going to do in a little while as well, okay? Absolutely. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Awesome, thank you. All, all right. So. But when I started doing the clearing stuff, it got spurred on by the fact that I myself was cursed. Okay, I was cursed from before I was born, and I only found that out in my 20s and um, say mid 20s. And after I went to someone to, to clear off that curse, um, things started opening up in fantastic ways. I mean, I got sent to study full time, I got paid for it, I met my, my now wife, I had kids, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So things were really opening up. But um, it kind of irritated me how there's, there's these things that surround and they just need to be cleared. So I started doing a lot of clearings. Okay, So not just curses, but also sending a lot of spirits into the light. So that used to be kind of, it, it was training, I suppose, in a certain way. But I used to send between 80 and 100 spirits a week into the light, purely because I had an arrangement with the powers that be. So every week every wednesday that was my arrangement they used to come to me and what used to happen is i used to get very irritated and very agitated and very snappy because those are a lot of different types of energy 
and they used to affect me and they used to affect the way that I interacted with my family. And this is what I mean by saying, when you got to do the basics, you really have to do the basics and make sure that you're anchored and you're grounded so that you can be strong enough to stand within these energies. It's good enough for you to actually want to do it, but please remember that it comes with certain risks. Um, and, so, and I'm just going to be blunt about it. Uh, the risks are actually quite real. So long story short, my advice is, once again, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but stick to your anchoring and stick to your grounding, okay? And when that comes through and the rest of your other abilities start coming online, as in when you need to start dealing with these things, you will start to deal with them when the time is right, but not before and not after, but precisely when it's time. Yeah, it's not always rosy and golden light and just, you know, wonderful stuff. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot that happens on this journey. And um, <clears throat> as you all know, <laughs> my journey is uh, also quite, it can be challenging at times. Um, this week I'm challenged with hives, which you can't really see because I put on lots of makeup, but um, that doesn't mean it's not there. And uh, a lot of clearing going on, a lot of clearing, you know, happening and just, you know, staying calm <laughs> with it. It's like, all right, just let's just release, 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 whatever is there, you know, release the overwhelm, release whatever, whatever, like do continue doing the work, right? Without getting into fear about it, right? And so I know hives is not a big thing. It's not a big deal. I get it. I, for me, neither. I get it happens from time to time. But, um, you know, when I was thinking about the show, it's like, oh, God, it's like, I'm on camera and I have all, like, really, you can't tell, but it's like, I have like, my face is like exploded with hives and it's itchy. How am I going to be, how am I going to go on camera? <laughs> right. That, that was my, that was my fear today. And it's like, okay, well, I'll just have to, I'll just have to see, I'll see how it goes. And you know, if it's okay, then I'll go ahead and do the show. If it's really bad, I don't want to scare anybody. If it's really bad, then I'm, you know, we'll, we'll postpone, but you know, it's like, all right, I, I, it's doable. It's manageable. So it's like, you know, w when you're living life and you're on this journey, Things come at you sometimes to see how you will react, how you will handle it. What, what are you going to do, right? Instead of going into fear and doubt and drama and victimhood and all that stuff. It's like, all right, I don't say bring it anymore. I used to say, bring it. <laughs> it's like, no, I got enough on my plate right now. I don't, I don't need to bring it right now. But it's like, all right, let's just deal with this. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, so, yes, it's not always easy, Okay. They're just saying it's not always rosy. So Petra ha has does not know how to raise her hand, but she had you know messaged me earlier. So Petra, you want to unmute yourself if you can. Uh, yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Hi Petra. How are you? Um, hi. Uh, yeah. It's, it's one of I'm I'm Alara. Uh, I just want to say uh, you can go to the uh, apothecary and buy something called histamine. I went to the apotheca, yeah, and yeah. I have, but yeah, that, <laughs> it's a long story. I have to go again tomorrow, but anyway, okay. I went but it usually, twice today. This stuff usually works, I'm just saying, if it, it's it's 10 euros and you can buy it over the counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll ask them. I, I got some stuff today, but, um, mm -hmm. you know. But histamine, if, if nothing works, might be the trick uh, when you have hives in that and it doesn't go away. I'm just mm -hmm. saying, I just came, yeah. Okay. yeah Let me you. turn on my video. Okay. Can you hear, see me? No. No. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, Go ahead. Okay. So um, I'm being challenged with something that has been going on uh, for a half a year now. And I feel, um, I'm not sure it might be, it's a, it's a family karma or it's a karmic issue, but it's repeating itself. Um, so I'm getting, um, I, I was getting help from some lawyers to help me to get to, with my inheritance from my dad. Uh, I hired two lawyers and the inheritance did not come, but now I'm being sued for over 150,000 euros. And today was the next uh, suing of 70 euros from people that basically are trying to help, wanted to help but now are suing for, for lawyer's fees and I'm not getting my inheritance. So there's no money. I have no money left and they know my situations, but they keep suing anyhow. 
and it's it's very strong. Uh, I'm, I'm having strong fears about that of losing everything. I'm trying to get uh, to work with my victimhood, but it seems like these people are not listening. And and it's it's twice. It has been happened twice to me. So I'm feeling it's a repeated karma loop. It has to. Have, it must have to be an issue. And but now that whole family is involved. Okay, and let's could, see. Let's see what Vanola has to say. Yeah, there's something about the house, the house of my dad, I'm supposed to get a third. And it looks like these people want my inheritance and are suing so they can get it. There's something about, I'm wondering if you pick up on anything, if it's a karmic issue or it seems to be a repeat of a past life issue. Well, look, And I'm trying to clear it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know much about the past life issue, but there definitely seems to be something that's been contained within the blood. So yeah, not so much karmic issue, but more ancestral issue. The The energy that I'm picking up is around the lower portion of the legs. And uh, I don't know if that equates to swelling, but it seems more to be like the place is actually keeping you a bit more stuck. So that's where the energy is from. And there's also some heart energy that I'm picking up that also needs to be cleared. So mm -hmm. that's what I'll clear for you and for everyone else. So you can just take a deep breath in and exhale and for everyone else as well. We're just going to look and clear any shackles and bindings that's keeping you stuck where you are. Lifting clear any spikes in your legs. Lifting clearing any fear patterns preventing you from moving forward. Tuning, tuning into the heart space now, lifting, clearing, any traumas, any other patterns in each end. So just take a deep breath. We're just going to pull that out. Sending that to source for rehabilitation as we fill in what was being cleared, what has been released, and any other voids of your own source love from your own source fractal. <laughs> And exhale. And oh. So it is. So yeah, Petra, that's what I can do for you um, for this time. And uh, I hope it helps you. Thank you so much. It feels much, um, it feels something has lifted. It feels lighter. And it seems like something was removed from my legs. So I could feel that something was going on and it, I feel now karma within my own space. Good. So yeah, that, yeah. That's thank good. So you. Now yeah. You thank continue you. with that by choosing to focus on what it is that you want. And the way you do it is you first connect to source with the intention, connect to yourself with the intention, um, really an analyze and look at what it is that's actually going on here and what it is that you need to lift and clear from yourself. And you do that with intention. Um, whatever it is that I've done, you can do. Just focus, use your intent and allow it to happen. Mm, okay. Yes. And then with the help of the dragons, we can do a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Petra. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Good. All right. Um, let's, I'm just looking at the time. We, let's go to Jill. Jill, you want to unmute yourself? Hi. Thank you. Oh, I got to tell you, I've been doing, I've been um, yawning so much during everybody's, um, I saw Laura yawning with me. Um, I'm getting a lot of, of healing. Thank you. 
already. So I have, um, I have a cat who is a master healer cat who um, I've been told um, we are corded at our stomachs and um, he has an itching problem. And I've been told by two different healers that when I, whatever stops itching me, like itching me is what will stop itching him is when he will stop itching. And, you know, which thing is it that's itching me that's creating this, you know, I, I, I feel like, is, is it possible that the cord could be cut um, so that he's not taking on my trauma? Well, the, the thing about cats and what they tend to do is they tend to absorb the energy of their owners. Uh, they trap a lot of energy in their own field and they release it. And I think a lot of us know that. But at the same time, um, do you have a, a clearing process that you do uh, daily or not? Um, yes, yes and no. Um, I meditate um, and I do Reiki, and I, I'm. But I tend to focus it on him and not so much on me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I was raking him this morning. Um, but then I don't know. Maybe I should be raking myself. Yeah, I, I would think actually focus on yourself. And uh, with this now, we're talking about the whole corner principles as well, uh, where everything happens inside and it starts to reflect around you. So um, take a deep breath in uh, and let's activate the source energy frequency field for you and everyone else who's experiencing something where you just can't find the answers and you tried everything out and you're exhausted. It's not Thoughts to scan through your own patterns, your own heart space to lift and clear that. And lift and clear any frustration agreements associated with this. And there's copies there. Lifting clear any massive amounts of guilt that are pulled up where things are your fault and you perceive it that way. And it even compounds because you don't even know why. So lifting clear of that and those patterns. And for your cat, we're just going to run the source energy frequency field. We're going to scan for any offending items. We're going to run the resonant frequencies now. And we're going to run the 11th harmonic frequencies. To clear this out now. And you should already feel the energy between you and your cat getting a lot better now. Thank you. I right. when I get a deep healing, I get this spot on my nose that starts making a sensation. And it was doing that. Um oh. thank you so much. I've been working on this with anybody who will <laughs> help me. And I, and when you said like the guilt, I was like, oh yeah, that's all, that's what this is for sure. Thank you. That's a pleasure, Joe. Awesome, thank you, Joe. Yes, I'm still yawning. Um, okay, so we're gonna just quickly go to Tanya. Sorry, I know some of you have been on hold for a long time. Tanya, you wanna unmute, unmute yourself? Is it me, Tanya? Yeah, yeah, it's you, Tanya. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, Tanya. Hello, hello, Alara. Uh, well, my my question would be the same about me and my son, but the only thing that I always thought because I love him so much, I can keep peace between us, but he pulls me always into kind of 
anger because he has a lot of anger. And I wonder why can't I keep it with my son because he's my son. So I supposed to kind of forgive him anything and uh, be not judgmental. And still he pulls me into this anger and we have a fight. And we fight like almost every day now because he's 15. And we are in a kind of small compartment at the moment because we are in temporary accommodation and it is like very difficult. <laughs> so mm. if anything you can clear, please clear. <laughs> that will be yeah, great. Sure, sure. Appreciate it. Well, I'm just gonna say really quickly to even Owen, you have a teenager, yeah. a boy teenager. I know what that was like. It was hell from the time he was 15 to 20 hell hell i mean my hair turned gray i lost most of my hair during that time to be honest and people have said to me because they, they like just it was it was nuts they grow out of it they do absolutely but you also have to understand that at this time boy teenagers are trying to figure out who they are right so yeah the anger is there because they think they're right they know everything and we don't know anything and we're annoying them right that is a that's a common thing with teenagers um mm. you will survive you will get through it i don't don't make it into something big that it's not right that it may not be um and yes of course definitely still love him and don't be judgmental definitely love him forgive him don't be judgmental you know i i remember you know when my son was uh around that time and he got really sick one time I mean really really sick and it brings me to tears but it's like oh my god I'd rather have him running around driving me crazy than have him lie there looking like death it's like it's like I'll take it whatever he wh whatever he wants to do you know except for that one time when he was rude to me and I, and I told him no so you know it, it's it's about what are you allowing as well, right? So m after my son was rude to me that one time, he was never again. Because I said, absolutely not. You cannot treat me like this. No. And it was that it was not yelling, but it was that forcefulness within me that said, no, I don't deserve to be treated like this. And he was never like that to me ever again, right? So you have to also look at who are you being with him, right? I used to nag him every more every day. I did you do your homework? Did you do your schoolwork every single day? Every day. And he never did, right? He he still passed all his all his grades. He got into a really great university. He's, he's doing really great. My nagging did not help at all. It just stressed me out, frustrated me, <laughs> right? But he was being a normal teenage boy. Okay, we know. <sighs> go ahead. That's all I gotta say about that. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I survived. You, you will too. Look, <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, I think you spot on. I mean. Um... Even when we were young and we were that age as well, we thought that we knew better. But because of the close proximity that you're in with your son, I think part of it comes down to is you also view him as an extension of yourself, right? And because you view things in that way, and when he doesn't behave accordingly in what you think it should happen, it makes you angry. And part of the reason it does make you angry is because on a certain level, you feel that you failed. So... I want you to just take a deep breath in. And for everyone here as well, let's activate the source energy frequency field. And we're going to scan for any fear patterns. And we're going to scan for any failure patterns. And we're going to pull it up and we're going to clear that. Sarala Kurshuturwana, Satala Kurutsurwani, and Akarashata Usurwaria. Itolokurusur Wari Lakarana, Torlokur Shitter, Lokur Shitter, Unwari Lakarana, Taro, Tora, Tatalakur, Surumari Lakarana, Sutur Warila, Itolokur, and Salakur, Tolokina, Talakur, Tosur Wari Lakarana, Barato, Surunash, and Akutur Wayena. And we're going to focus on the blood and the anger that has settled in there. We're going to clear that out. Sana Kuturso, Torloka Shitter, Lakura, Itolokur Sur Wari Lakarata, Talakur, and Tarakur Waria. Alakro sur wari lakro mor shotur lokit sekada atalakro tora nana kro to sur wari na shatalakro sur wari kara utolokori na kro to sur wari na ta barato un sur wari na sh. We're also going to clear away the liver to clear away any anger there as well because that likes to store anger. Tana kro sur wari shatalakro sur wari ita itar kun wari iti kilo kro sur wari lake shatar wari lakra itolokro wari lakro ta lakro to wari lakra nas. And connecting to the 
the pattern of conflict for you and everyone else here. And we're going to directly connect that pattern to source now. Thank you. And we're just going to clear that and transmute it into what is for the highest good for all concerned. And bringing this energy and the frequencies of harmony, of love. Bringing the energies of self-awareness. Deep breath in. Exhale. Let us know how that shifts for you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. I feel much lighter in my chest, in my heart. And yeah. happy year, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, and, and find some on. space between the two of you. I know you're in close quarters, but find some space. You cannot be on top of him all the time. Yeah, mm. I should let it go and just let him be. He needs let to him, be him. Let yeah. him be up to a point. Like I, I let my son be up to a point. Then at one point he was like, really bad into like drinking and drugs and then i sent him off to my sisters which in hindsight may have been a mistake but you know i was i was uh in fear right mm. so just watch pay attention be aware watch but don't hover <laughs> since god he doesn't do all this stuff but that's he's good. very rude extremely rude and yeah it's probably, that's it's my pride probably he hurts and i shouldn't be you know, well, you I mean, don't deserve anybody to be rude to you. No, I know, but I know that he's not even your state, son. He's 15 year old, you know, this stupid stage. Yeah, but and that's what I said. When my to... son was rude, I said no. And he was never rude again. Thank you for so your advice, Alara. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's also about drawing your boundaries as well. I mean, that's what being yeah. sovereign is. You got to yeah. know where you stand, um, not just for mm -hmm. the spirit world, but for the people around you as well. Yeah. So, and he was, my son was never into energy, crystals, angels, none of that, but he loved Reiki. <laughs> he loved Reiki. So if I could get him on a table, then that was ah, great. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <Thank> you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Thank there, you. been there, done that, lived through it. Thank God. But uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Destiny. I know we're going to go really quickly now for the next couple because we're okay. I didn't I didn't know we were going to get you know be, be be getting late, but that's okay. Destiny, you want to ask your question if you're still there? I know you're there. Otherwise, we're going to go to the next person. <laughs> One, two, three. All right, Manisha. Yes, hello, Alara. Hi. Yes, thank you so much. Um, offering me this opportunity. I would love some clearing of energies of um, similar to one of the previous callers. Um, some energies. Why, why, what, what, hold yeah. on, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be rude for a second. Why no, no, pick no. something similar? If, no, no, if, no, if... no, it's not that similar. But, but whatever, <laughs> whatever inheritance that I'm due for my stepmother because my father did not honor he borrowed a lot of money from me and um so he passed away and didn't honor his responsibility as a father but I'd love some clearing of energies for me to receive in the highest and best good what is intended for me please thank you um yeah yeah sure we can do that um take a deep breath in and for everyone here as well once again, activating source energy frequency field. And we're just going to lift in clear and in all frequencies and in all patterns that is blocking you from receiving that which is owed to you, that which is yours. And clearing any heart patterns. And clearing any and all soul contracts that needs to be cleared with regards to this, let me clear it. Sealing the timeline. Deep breath in. And so it is. Thank you, Manisha. 
Thank you so much. Um, whilst you were doing the clearing, I felt a lot of heaviness in my heart, but when you finished, I felt very light. Thank you so much, Alara. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, thank you, Manisha. Thank you, Manisha. And of course, stay tuned for the process, okay? Thank you. Yes. The group, the group process as well. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. All right, Destiny, you're back. All right. So you want to unmute Destiny? I didn't know I ever left. I was still here. No, we, I, I called on you. You weren't there. You didn't answer. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I was wondering if um, I could get a clearing for like, I don't know. I just, I feel like um, I was wondering if I could get like cleared out of this, this head issue here. I got like whatever's going on around my head. And um, neck. Would you call okay. it like interference, Destiny? Yeah. And she's had this for a long time, you know, like um, a year or two years. I don't know. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, take a comfortable breath. And we're going to connect you now. We're going to activate the source energy frequency field for you. Lifting, clearing in and all sinus patterns. And any all emotional trauma that is being stored there and clear now. Okay. Uh, any tangled thought patterns, lift and clear that as well. And any patterns within the center of the brain that are preventing the left and right hemispheres being balanced, we're going to clear that out. And focusing on the cells in your brain, we're just going to restructure them. To allow for more source alignment. Lifting, clearing traumas from the weight of the shoulders, weight on your shoulders, the weight of the world. We're going to clear that as well. And clearing old trauma patterns stored in the neck. And allow it to continue for as long as is needed. So, Destiny, let us know how that goes. Awesome. How are you feeling now, Destiny? Hey, what's, Thank what's different? You. No, I do. I feel better. So, it's all kind yeah. of all like right here. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's Thank a pleasure. you. Stay tuned for the process, okay? The group process as well. All right, Sarah. You want to unmute? And this is the last question because we're like, oh my God, look at the time. <laughs> I would like to clear um, the fear of <clears throat> letting go of things um, that I won't have, a, you know, a, a fright of scarcity so mm -hmm. that um, I can move forward and let go of what I need to not feel like I've got to hold everything and... Um, declutter my house. I mean, that's part of it. I just, I can't let go of things. And I know it's a fear that comes from past lifetimes when everything was taken away. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, Sarah, take a deep breath in. We'll connect to you and everyone else. Comfortable breath and activating the source energy frequency field to lift and clear those patterns for you now. And really focusing on the heart to clear away and pull out those scarcity patterns. Lifting, clearing any thought forms that defines you by the things that you have around you.
there any distortions in identification and misidentification? And just clearing your inner mental space. We're just going to go in there for everyone as well as you. And bringing the source infinite love to expand out into the edges of your mind. And just dissolve all that does not serve your highest good. Thereby allowing the outer world to be a reflection of your inner self. Thank you, thank you, and so it is. Many blessings to you for that. Thank you. Well, thank you, Sarah. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, so oh my goodness. Um, for those of you who have already had a uh healing today, a short little heal healing process, uh, of course, that was just really minor, short, you know, two minutes, right? So of course, we, we know one can go deeper with his uh, packages as well. So let's talk about the packages really quickly. And then we're going to do the group process before I forget. Because I'm looking at the time and I'm like, where am I? Um, I'm going to share my screen. Hold on one second, folks. Sharing my screen. Okay. So uh, Vinolan has, hopefully you can see my screen now. Yep. Three packages. A, B, and C. I'm going to get Vinolan to talk about them so that she can explain more. Uh, but the, go ahead. <laughs> package A. <laughs> okay, package. Okay, is this the Dragon Arm and the Dragon Heart Reiki yeah. group session? Um, essentially, the tools that I've used today, for example, to generate the frequencies, uh, that's what I would be sharing with you so that you can also use this technology on yourself as well as people around you. Um, the Dragon Heart Reiki, I will do it a bit in the process where you'll also experience it. But yeah, it's just like another type of Reiki, except that mine is more focused on um, connecting directly to source. So what will happen is you'll be getting some, um, let's call it light body upgrades, so that you will be able to channel and work with these frequencies. And then the bonus with this is an infinity healing for abundance, which is a silent audio as well. Yeah, this is a silent audio that we created a while back, but uh, the feedback has just been amazing. People have been manifesting money and opportunities within like maybe an hour or a couple of days after just listening to it. So it's silent, so you can listen to it discreetly, listen to it discreetly, uh, put it on a loop and yeah, let it work as magic. So this group session obviously is on is going to be on Zoom. Um, do you know when it's going to be? You know when? Uh, um, I haven't set a date, but as soon as we get everyone in, um, yeah, it will be uh, one one day in the month. Okay, awesome. And uh, it's a, it's yeah. like a w one hour call class healing yeah, training. Yeah, basically, it'll be about forty five minutes to an hour. So there won't be any direct interaction or one on one interaction because it'll be a group thing, but you will be working and healing on yourself. So that's the um, that's package A, Dragon Armor and Dragon Heart Reiki group session. And then package B is the abundance audio package, which also did I say it also includes the yes, it also includes the, <laughs> the Dragon Heart Reiki, etc. So in this abundance package, um, we were talking about already anchoring and grounding, etc. But uh, there's four audios and then four silent audios of the same thing, right? Yeah. So the four audios, you will be hearing me sort of guiding you into um, meditation as well as using the light language to clear up um, not only the contracts, but clear also your DNA patterns that say that needs to be lifted. And uh, I'm a big fan of the silent audios. So once again, while you're sleeping, while you are doing your own thing, um, you can play that. But for any type of healing or any type of recording, please do not listen to it while you're driving. Please do not listen to it while you're operating heavy machinery. And that doesn't go for my audios. It goes for everyone else's audios as well, because energy can affect people in very, very different ways, and you want to be safe. Yeah. So package B is 88, and then package C is everything in packages A and B plus a private session with Vinolan. So let's talk about what, what a private session looks like. 
So the private session will be pretty much like how the mini sessions happen today, but obviously it'll be in much more detail because we'll have much more time to get over there. So with there, we'll be creating more sacred space for the rest of my team. And it'll be a lot of back and forth questions so we can calibrate what exactly um, needs to be addressed and what needs to be lifted and how things are shifting for you. So yeah. pretty similar to how we're clearing, but we're gonna go way, way deeper. Uh, so the thing with my sessions is that sometimes uh, you will feel out of sorts for about two or three days because of all the healing that takes place. So after about three days or so, you're going to feel perfect and you're going to feel much more light and much more better. Awesome. So those are the three packages. Again, I'm just going to reiterate them here below. Package A is the Dragon Armor and Dragon Heart Reiki group session with the bonus Infinity Healing for Abundance Silent Audio. Package B is the abundance audio package and also includes the Dragon Armor, Dragon Heart Reiki group session and the bonus infinity healing for abundance silent audio. And then package C is everything in packages A and B plus a 30 minute personal session with Vinola. Um, so packages B and C, there's a payment plan available. Package A, there's not because it's only $33. And of course, if you are an Inner Circle member, please do not forget to use your gift code and receive your 10 or 25% off, all right? So please do take a look at those and see which package resonates with you, for you, and see how you can work with Vinolan uh, more. Will the group class be recorded? Vinolan, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go with recorded. yes. <laughs> yes, it will be. Thank you, Rebecca, great question. But yes, it will be recorded. And so for those of you who cannot uh, uh, attend the live, you can always get the recording. Yeah. Um, Jill said, when Owen was doing a healing, I saw what I thought was a magic eight ball. And now I see this is the image on the abundance silent audio. Oh, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Sorry, we don't know when it will be yet. Uh, she's asking what general time of day will it be? The, the general uh, time of the they would be the, um, the same time that we started off this call. So it's, um, what is it, 3 p.m.? Yeah, so 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Okay. CEST, yeah. 8 p.m. UK. Yeah, those are the only ones I can tell you off the top of my head. I can never <laughs> remember them. I know, it's, it's uh, when, when, the, when, the, when the clocks shift, I get in trouble for two weeks because they, sh you know, they shift differently. Can Vinolan work on someone with dementia? Uh, we can work on anything for anyone. But remember with me and most other healers and all healers, in fact, uh, we don't heal. All we do is we hold space. And we love, it's the person itself that heals. So while we can do a lot of things, there are a lot of things that can't do. Um, any healing session is not a fix all for everything. But we can certainly show up. We can certainly try and do our best. Uh, Sarah says, thanks, just not in the middle of the night. Nope, it's not the middle of the night. It's the 12 p.m. <laughs> for you, middle of the day, I guess. Noon. Okay, so we're going to, if, if you have any more questions, of course, you can message me, email me, et cetera. Um, all right, so we know we're going to do a process now, right? Yeah. And the, so let's talk a little bit about the process, and then we will get going with that. Okay, so so the, the process that I'm going to guide you to is, is I'm also going to be working on you as well. So we're going to clear away any radiation and any detrimental EMF that's affecting you. As I mentioned before, we are totally inundated with these frequencies. And I want to give you a little bit of breathing space to allow a bit more of your own source fractal to come through so that you can then start making better and clear decisions about where it is that you want to go in your life. And part of it starts with doing this types of cleanings and clearings. So you know, we can get to it. Um, uh, so for, for just really quickly, you know, and for those people that didn't get a chance to ask their question or I didn't get a chance to ask their question because they wrote in the chat, can they hold the intention for that, whatever that happens to be during the process and um, request healing for that? Um, we can do that as well for them as well. Awesome. All right. Good, yeah, it'll you. be something separate that we'll bring in, but that's totally fine. Okay, perfect. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask for healing for my hives. <laughs> okay, no, we, we can do that. And then he's saying, can we include our family members too in the group session? Uh, no, the, the reason I'd like to do this is because when you show up, is because you showed up. 
So for the family members and all of that kind of things, I'd much prefer to either have a session with them um, because uh, it'll be their choice. Yeah. So if the family members are on the call here, that's totally fine. But if they're elsewhere, then I'd rather not, unfortunately. Yeah, See, I, I'm, I'm of the same mindset. I don't like to include family members unless they've given their permission. They've personally said yes, because we all have free choice. Unless it's children who are under a certain age, then it's like, okay. But even still, you know, it, uh, it kind of, it's, you know, what about their free will, you know? So, yeah. and what about their journey as well, right? So, yeah. Awesome. All right, let's get started. All right, so inviting everyone to take a deep breath in and exhale, close your eyes. And we now activate the source energy frequency field, activating the 144 kilohertz frequency field for everyone as well. And asking everyone to set the intention for something that they would like to shift. And we're gonna connect source to that all the way into the quantum level for that pattern to shift and clear it now. From the root of the item, lift and clear, transmute with what is for your highest good. We're now going to focus on your body. And around your body, we're going to form a dragon egg, so activate the dragon egg. And the dragon egg is now going to reflect any and all detrimental energies from the outside. And you're going to find yourself in your, in your mind getting a lot quieter. You're going to find your nervous system start to relax. And we're now going to lift and clear and transmute any Detrimental radiation and EMF in your body. Lift and clear now. Patala krosur wari la ke shatar osur morgi la karana na shatar uase la ke utur untara. Ikara la krosur wari la kar la kroto undar i la kroto sur wari. Marata la krosur wari la kar shatar la kroya la karana tar untar ki. Ito la krosur loga la kar ta la kroto la kroya la karana shatar la kwariya. Mar la kroto sur wai ta la kroto wa chara la kroto wa. Ito la krosur wai la karana shatar la kroya la karana. As we lift and clear from your blood as well, we're going to replace the voids, the gaps, the holes, the spaces with infinite source love. From your own source fractal, Sanakuruto Usuru Wagilakesh or Usuru Nashadar Anakarana Shuku. Now focusing on yourselves to run anti radiation and anti EMF frequencies now. And to only allow what is for the highest and best good for you. Bringing in Dragon Heart Reiki for you now. To heal your entire body, the cells, the muscles, the vessels, the organs. For many and all ways that it has been affected by radiation and EMF. Seal and protect the aura. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and so it is. So gently bring yourself back now and open your eyes. Awesome, thank you. Um, 
I'm just slowly coming back. How's everybody doing? I can't see. <laughs> it's like I can't quite see clearly. Um, Sarah says gratitude. Patricia, how do we sign up with Ben? Like for the packages, Patricia? Yes. I'll put the link in the chat, but it'll be in the emails as well. Okay. okay. I'll put the yes. link in the chat for now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And there's the, the link for the um, special offer page. Rebecca says, this has been a very powerful call. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Tanya says, thank you. You're welcome. Good. And for those of you who, um, you know, yeah, how are you doing still, right? For those of you who had the mini, mini readings, mini healings, how are you, how are you still doing? Hopefully you're still doing great. Any new insights, any new awarenesses that came through during the process? Oh, and how did you like the dragon egg? I, I like that. That was nice. Um, Petra says, thank you. You're welcome. Good. I can share. Go ahead, Petra. Uh, yes, hi. I just want to uh, share what I felt during the group process. Um, mm -hmm. um, it was very, very powerful. There was a lot of heat and I could feel um, things were being removed from my back. And I am I just had one comment. I was wondering when we want to do it ourselves, when we want to work with source energy, is that sufficient to just call it in? Or is there a certain process to connect up, up to source so we can really connect to source? I just wanted to ask if he, if you can say something to that matter. That, and, and thank you so much. It was really, really powerful in very short amount of time. Well, so well, I, I really feel well, it was well, very- Thank you very much. And I think yeah, that's yeah. a good question, but uh -huh. um, it, it comes down to the software that you're running. And when I say software, it's just your beliefs and your perception of things. One way of looking at things is that everything is already connected to source. When I connect you to source, all I'm really doing is I'm acknowledging that the connection is there. And so it is. So it really takes seconds. It's really as simple as that. And that's all that I did. Uh, and you, you, saw it, you saw me doing it. So work on your perceptions, work on yourself. But the anchoring grounding will bring in a lot. It will also remove a lot. And it will allow you to relax enough to know that, as someone said, I can't remember who it is, but the rules of the world are not just rules, they're more like suggestions, you know? True. Or bend it a bit. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Petra. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, if you haven't um, gotten the free gift from Vinolan yet, please do go to the gifts page. For those of you who are subscribers, uh, you know, from the show, please go to the gifts page. The link is always in every email and download his um, uh, gift, okay? Uh, Dragon Flame Healing says, thank you, Lauren. Vin appreciated the time and energy. Nadi says, thank, thank you. you. Mina says, thank you. So much gratitude. Sandy, thank you. Wonderful call. Dan Ellen says, so grateful to you all. Sarah says, Sarah says, feeling happy after my clearing. Good. Pippa says, thank you. Such a gift. What an amazing call. Feeling clear and re-energized. Awesome. Sarita says, thank you. I love Dragon Egg. Much love and gratitude. Great to have you here, Sarita. Jane says, thank you, many blessings. Valentina says, thank you so much. Manisha says, thank you, Vin, for this beautiful and powerful clearing. I felt a lot of tingling in my hands. When you finished, a big yawn and tingling stopped. Still yawning away. Yeah, I can relate. Thank you, Manisha. Jill said, this is absolutely amazing. I have never yawned so much <laughs> during one of these shows. My eyes are also tearing a lot. So powerful. Oh, good. <laughs> thank you, Jill. Cindy said, I'm sorry, I seem to have lost connection at the beginning of the process. Will the replay be effective as well? Of course it will be, yes, for sure. And the, uh, the replay will go out shortly in a little while. Um, Amber Amba says, got in at approximately 3.40, so missed much. Oh, that's too bad. You can always watch the replay. Thank you so much for what I have experienced. The group healing, absolutely phenomenal. I feel so much lighter and calm. Oh, good. But yes, definitely go back and watch or listen to the call, the show again, to receive from all of the mini healings as well as the group process, right? So this is something that we forget to do is we forget that when people, the facilitator is doing these mini healings, if it resonates with us, even a teeny weeny bit, say yes to receiving 
and be willing to receive the change and transformation, okay? Kim says ordering now, great healing. Awesome, good, thank you. Thank and you, so like, we, so what uh, we said was, uh, so the, the, the downloads for those of you who purchased, uh, you know, the pandemic package are there. Um, and um, Vin will uh, email you, message you, email you with information about when the Dragon Reiki uh, workshop will be, as well as how to reach him to do the one-on-one -on -one session, okay? It's all, in, it's all in the email that you get when you purchase. So just so that you know, all right? Um, yeah, and so we, yeah, so the Dragon Reiki workshop, the, Am the Armor Dragon workshop okay. that whole workshop is going to be at 3 p.m eastern okay so it will be you know reasonable time and there will be a recording so you can always access it later um then are you also going to record the personal session with you um i don't like recording personal sessions i don't um and the reason for that is because when you're clearing energies and all of that kind of stuff um you want to make sure that it's clear and that it's gone. You don't want to be watching recordings of it and just calling yeah. in those things back. Uh, but you, you're more than welcome to take down notes or anything like that. I mean, that's what I normally do. But for personal sessions, I do not like to record. I actually never go back and listen to any of my recordings of sessions that I've had with people. I've never done that. It's mm -hmm. like, it's done. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's like... So, so Generally, yeah, you'd want a recording from someone who's like that type of psychic when they're going to give you information and things to look at. But I'm not that type of person. I'm yeah. not that type of facilitator. Um, yeah. What I like to do is I get in there, we clear, and yeah, and yeah. Then hopefully you'd be smiling. <laughs> Most definitely. Um, all right. So, any last words of wisdom for us today before we go? Once again, I'm going to reiterate it anchor and ground. Um, get to your basics, get to know who you are and be as strong as you want to be. Awesome, thank you. This was amazing. This was awesome, so much fun. Um, yeah, so powerful, all of the healings, all the wisdom, everything was so powerful. The group process was so powerful. So, you know, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy, Camper. Well, th thank you for having me. And thank you everyone for, for joining as well. I mean, it's been such an honor. So, yeah, it was it was wonderful. So thank you. And thank you everybody thank you for all much. your questions because they help to facilitate the 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 mini healings and processes for everyone, oh, right? Definitely. So thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah, it, it, it makes a big difference. So thank you. And thank you, uh, you know, for being here and sharing your wisdom, your energies, your processes with us, you know, so quick and powerful. I love that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everyone. So have a great weekend. I will send out the recording in a little while. And then we'll be back next week for some shows, okay? And for those of you in the inner circle, uh, our community call is tomorrow, okay? So now that I know that you can't see anything on my face, <laughs> our community call is tomorrow, all right? So thank you so much, everyone. Until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye for now. Bye, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>